Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Diablo 4 running on your Windows computer. I'm going to show you the entire process of how to download the Battle.net launcher, how to get it working on a Windows computer, how to purchase the game and how to go ahead and log in and play. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest game tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to the Battle.net website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then we're going to press the download Battle.net button at the top here. And this is going to automatically download the latest version of Battle.net. If it doesn't start, you can press this blue link here and it will manually download for you. So next, we're going to press this button to open up the launcher or you can go to your file explorer and then go to the download section. And then you can go to your file explorer, go to downloads and then find your Battle.net setup and then double click on it. So it's saying here starting battle.net and it's downloading the battle.net update agent. And then we're going to install this in its default location on the C drive. And you can choose here whether you want battle.net to launch when you start your computer, press continue. And now it's saying installing battle.net. Just let that finish before we move on to the next step. So now we have the battle.net login window here. So if you don't have an account already, you can create a free battle.net account by clicking on this link. And then you can type in your date of birth, or basically fill in all of the details until you've created your account, or you can alternatively log in with Facebook, Google, Apple, etc. Any of these logins will work too. I'm going to log into my existing account. So now Battle.net is installed. It's going to give us a tour. Just press continue, next, 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 got it. And basically we have Battle.net now installed. So you can install any of these games. For example, if we press the games button here, then you can list all of the games that you currently own. Or if you go to the shop, you can find plenty of other games and DLCs that you can add to your account as well. Well, so today what we're going to be doing is to be installing Diablo 4. So if you don't have Diablo 4 purchased already, just go to shop, type in Diablo 4, and then you'll get the opportunity to click on Diablo 4 Ultimate or Digital Edition. I'm going to be selecting Digital Edition for the ability to pre-purchase the game. So if you haven't purchased this already, just go ahead and add to cart and then check this out, and then you'll be able to own Diablo 4. And then once it's in your library, you just go to the game section here, and then you'll find Diablo 4 in this list. Just click on here, and then what we want to do is press the install button. So if you're watching this, this after the game has released, it'll just say install. However, we're doing the pre-install, just press pre-install here. That's the same thing. Here, we're just going to install it under this folder here. And just be aware this is 84 gigabytes in size, just press continue. So you have the option here as well to switch between high resolution assets, which is 84 gigabytes in size. Or if you disable this, then this will basically go down to 46 gigabytes in size. You only need high resolution assets if you play on 4K monitors with ultra settings. So anyway, go ahead and press the start install button, and then it's going to start downloading and installing. So you just need to wait for this to finish before we can continue to the next step. So once Diablo 4 has finished downloading, we're ready to press the play button and I'm going to go ahead and launch the game. If you have old graphics drivers, you might need to update them. So make sure that these are up to date before launching the game. So once you've made sure your drivers are up to date, just press the play button and we're going to launch Diablo 4. So there we have Diablo 4 is loading up on screen right now. So here we can go ahead and choose a class. I am going to choose a rogue. Here we're going to customize. I'm going to choose this guy as my rogue. Give this dude a name. So here we've got Diablo 4 working. And this is the full retail release. So anyway, that's how you get Diablo 4 running on Windows. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.